is going to be a ooh, let's I might have to get some different cards. I was going to do a reading for air signs. Um, but I'm not sure I have the right decks. Um so I'm going to have to pause it and get my other decks. Okay, sorry about that, Air Signs. Now I have the proper decks. And I don't have my light on. I have to put my light on. <laughs> oh my god, I can't win today. Let me get my <clears throat> light set up for you guys. And we will get started. That way you guys can see the cards. Although it will be, make me very uncomfortable because it's so bright. <clears throat> All right. Sock this up here. Let's see. Is that all the way bright? Whoa, that's way too bright. I can't see. That's good. Okay. So, here we go. This is going to be a general love reading for air signs. Now you all can see. Alright. Um, I'm going to start with my Light Seer's Tarot. Okay. Oh my goodness. There's toys up here. I need a little bit of backup. Okay. Air signs need to know right now. What can you tell me about air signs? Spirit guides, ancestors. Oh, I need to get closer here and I hope I don't hurt my freaking knees. All right. Ready now for air signs. One second. Okay. I just realized I need to clean my glasses. Okay. Distractions. Um, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for air signs. I am tapping into the ancestors, star family, spirit guides, and angels of the air signs that regularly watch me. What do they need to know for their highest good? In connection with their love life, I just dropped all the cards. Oh my god. <clears throat> Some of y'all need to get grounded because I'm picking up on your energy and it is seriously ungrounded <laughs> because I don't normally drop cards like that. I'm very, very, I mean, I have a hard time grounding myself sometimes, but <clears throat> whenever I read, I'm pretty grounded. So, for me to just start dropping cards, that's, somebody's not grounded. See, and these cards are, oh, it's weird. All right, let's get some cards out for air signs, please. Air signs. What do we got for our air signs? Negative swords. So, ooh, air signs. I'm going to get another card out just to confirm, but it feels like somebody somebody really feels like they missed the bus with you and they're really trying to get back in <laughs> in your life. Now, it's up to you whether or not you... This feels like someone you've already known. It's someone, it could be someone from your past. Someone that you may just have an established friendship with <clears throat> and you've planted some seeds with this person, right? So by planting seeds, I mean you created a good friendship with them and you are sort of very... Um, supportive of their dreams and their goals and I think because of that yeah see because of that they are starting to see 
that they may have they feel like they've missed the bus with you they they feel like they may have not come forward soon enough or made a move and they wanted to and they feel like you're moving on and moving forward with your life. Does that make sense? Um, they think that you're moving on from them like really quickly. And the thing is, I, I don't know. I don't see you actually have had a relationship with this person. It doesn't feel like you have. <clears throat> you may just be friends with this person and not see them as a romantic interest, but I feel like they definitely see you as a romantic interest. Okay, one second. I don't like this camera angle. That's better. Okay. Sorry, I always gotta look my best. You should always too. Let's show self-love, guys. Okay. So let's get some more cards, Nine of Pentacles. So if you, if you want a future with this person, then you're going to get it. Let me just say that. Wow. So yes, this person has been watching and spying on you for a long time. Page of Wands, any of the page, um, Cards are my spine cards, but also, you know, page of wands is, well, it's fire sign energy. It's someone that they really enjoy watching you. <laughs> Does that make sense? They're, whenever they watch you, it's like you put a smile on their face. They're just grinning ear to ear. They think you're really silly and funny and Queen of Cups, and why did that come out in reverse? All of these cards are right side up. Some of them are, on, are upside down. Why? Wow. I always make sure, I am like meticulous about making sure my cards are right side up. And okay, that's strange. I'm going to have to go through these. Most of them are right side up. There's two or three that are. Wow, I don't know how that happens. It's crazy. Anyway, so the Queen of Queen of Cups came out in reverse. This is telling me that they see you as someone who's not really open for love right now. Maybe they feel like you've been hurt in the past and they're wondering if you're ready. And I'm not sure if you are ready or not. I'll pull some cards on your energy specifically to see what we got coming out. But either way, they see you as as someone who may not be ready. And the thing is, they really want to come forward. I mean, this, um, there is an energy of, of urgency, but yet they're being patient. So, um, you know, your person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, another earth sign, Virgo, right? Um, but they definitely have fire in their chart. Because I see them wanting to come forward really quickly. Like this energy is like haste, right? But this is the energy of like slowing things down and kind of like feeling the way. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which shows me too, like earth sign energy. Someone who's sort of <clears throat> feeling things out. Hold on. Oh, let's see. I think I got them all. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and pull on your energy. And see what this Queen of Cups is about. Okay, so the Queen of Cups. Can you let me know if our air signs um, are ready for love? What is this Queen of Cups is about in regards to our air signs? Let me know in some form or fashion if this is air sign energy or if this is just how the person sees them, please. Are our air signs ready for love? Okay. One card, please. Let's see what we got, air signs. Are y'all ready for love? What's going on? One card. Let me know if air signs are ready for love. I just shuffled my hair. I'm growing my hair out, y'all. It's really long. 
Knight of Wands, okay, I, to me that's a go-to card. To me that's the card of saying, yes, you're ready for love, you're ready to move forward, and it's fire sign energy. There's a horse, she's holding on to a literal fire, her hand is damn near, it's in the fire, look at that. <laughs> she's not worried about getting burned at this point, it's like, I've played with fire, I've gotten burned, oh well, you know. And it's this energy of, okay, so I've already done that. I played with fire. I got burned. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do it again. So <laughs> go air signs, go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yes, you're ready to follow your passion and to fall in love. And there's no fear. There's only joy. Embracing life. Um, the horse tells me that you're definitely ready. It's, it's you know, riding your passions into um the sunset and stuff okay so yeah that's that's good energy um let's do the bodhi tarot for you whoa so if you're a cross watcher okay for your person who is a air sign then yes your person is ready to fall in love so it's time to make that move okay make the move let's get two of these all right air signs it says your love life has been complicated all for very good reasons you must learn these lessons to attract the love that you deserve so all of your lessons that you've had in love have brought you up to this moment so that you could prepare for the type of love that you deserve Okay, you know what you deserve, and it's all of the good stuff. Okay, all of the good things. So don't give up hope. That is what is happening. That is why your love life has been so complicated. And this energy is changing, okay? There is someone who has their eye on you, and they definitely want to come forward. My beautiful, beautiful, windy air signs. All right? And the next card that we have is Rekindling Energy. This is amazing. I literally got these, these same two cards for, <clears throat> I don't know if it was for my, excuse me, throat chakra issues. I don't know if it was for my um, twin soul reading that I did on Instagram. I think it was. I don't know if it was for today though or for yesterday. But I literally got this same energy for the twin souls. So feels like we're right spot on as far as the, where the energy is sort of headed for most people. It says rekindling energy is someone coming back into your life. Don't, don't, don't forget the lessons they taught you. So for some of you, there's going to be a, a riffraff that's going to try to come back into your life and into your energy field. Remember the shit that they put you through and the and and the energy that they gave you and if they come with that same Okay, so here's my disclaimer if you're under 18 <laughs> Please click off now because I'm about to cuss Okay, parental advisory. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put that I'm gonna start putting that up there like Tyler Tyler Tarot <laughs> Cause, ooh. Okay, so here's the thing Remember, remember the energy they came with before. And if they come with that same energy, then you're going to have to say, fuck you. Okay. And you're going to have to be like, fuck this, fuck you. And use discernment. If they come with a new energy, you know, feel it out. Read, read their energy field. If it feels different, you know, then by all means, give it a shot. If it feels the same and it feels like bullshit, smells like bullshit, it's probably bullshit. Walks like a duck, talks like a duck. It's probably a fucking duck, right? <laughs> All right. So actually, let's pull one more from here for you. I don't know. I just, I don't like the energy of this. The per says rekindling energy. I mean, it could be someone really good from your past. I don't know. Or it could just mean you're bumping into like a, a your twin soul. And that, that would make sense because it's, it's not, it is rekindling energy because it's technically if you've never met your twin soul your soul will know them so it technically it is a rekindling of you know the lifetime energy because you guys have known each other in past lives and past timelines 
So yeah, it would make sense. It's rekindling that love that you guys have had for millenniums and centuries. But okay, self-love is important at this time. Put yourself first, take care of yourself, and be gentle with yourself. All right, so we're focusing on self-love air signs right now. Okay, we are going to do a heal yourself card, right? And then we will go on to a message from your person and your reading is done. That went really quick. I don't know why it went quick or that quick. Did I, why do I feel like I missed some cards? Like I normally go through the same order with each sign. And I swear these were the only decks I use. The mermaid deck. My lightseer tarot, my body tarot, and this one. I don't know. Okay. Well, whatever. Spirit decided to give me a break tonight and plow through it. Fuck it. I'm grateful. <laughs> okay. Mm, all right. So let's. Ooh, my ears are in. You got some heavy messages coming in. Uh, air signs. Ouch. I wanted. I don't know why. I almost said Leo weird so some of you might be dealing with dealing with a leo or leo a leo is cross watching you or something like that it's weird i just i don't know because i almost said leo okay let's get the last spirit message for our air signs Ooh, 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 air signs, air signs, just got hot up in here, we have sexual arts, it is number 33, okay, so this is all about finding your sexuality, it could have to do with tantric sexuality, because I just heard tantric sexuality in my head, it went across my brain in bold letters. Um, also, sacred sexuality. Not even sure what that is going to mean to you. It's number 33, which is also um, the ascended master number. So you and your twin soul may be teachers. You may be ascended masters. And once you guys get together, you're going to make quite a power couple like you will be I feel like you'll be like one of those couples that's like twin flame teachers or um you will teach you will teach um not just unconditional love but you will teach uh, a lot of the new you know newly awakened people that are coming into this new awakened energy um, do I want to read this from the book? I, I don't know. Oh, they let me find it right away. Okay, so it also talks about, it says sexual energy only occurs where there's sexual polarity. So it says everyone has both masculine and feminine qualities to gift each other. And the only time there's a sexual spark is when one person is embodying more of their masculine energy and the other person is embodying more of their feminine energy. So it's about balancing out. So once you come to terms with balancing out your inner masculine and inner feminine, right? Then you can decide which one you think you're more, whether you're more masculine or more feminine, you'll know, right? Because you'll feel it. You'll know if your 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 feminine wants to come out more often than your masculine, right? So then you you would obviously be more masculine than feminine. And now for some of you, you will realize that your masculine will want to come out more often. Um, and you know it's not about gender; it's about what what energy you embody. So if you know that you're more masculine than feminine, you'll know because it'll resonate with you, right? That energy will resonate with you. Okay, so it says the masculine energy is unchanging witness, presence, direction, decision-making, 
trying to bring everything to closure and consciousness itself. And the divine feminine energy is change, life force, light, flowing movement, mother nature, and emotions. So that's how you'll know what energy you're embodying right now. It says, do not buy into the myth that sexual attraction eventually dies in a long-term relationship. Sexual polarity is an art that takes practice. It can be so subtle and last a lifetime if you are consistently reinventing your gifts and using an open heart. So it's about once you find out what um, energy you resonate with, whether it's masculine or feminine, embodying that. And then your person will feel that sexual energy and that will be their um, drawing in that will that is what will draw them into you sexually because they will be embodying the opposite energy of you and so you know the like it says the polarities will attract each other so for example if you feel like you are resonating more with the divine masculine energy then you would you know show that divine masculine energy which will bring your divine feminine ever closer to you right and the same with the divine feminines. If you focus on being your unique feminine self, then your divine masculine is going to find you and he's going to be like, hubba hubba. <laughs> You're going to draw him right, right in sexually because he's going to want to possess that beautiful divine feminine energy, right? Okay, so there's that beautiful energy, my ear signs. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up with a message from your person. This is the secret thoughts of their hearts that they may be too afraid at this time to tell you my beautiful air signs but we're gonna get to the bottom of it okay so here we go and i'm using my lemurian love deck um the lemurian love oracle that i created with the beautiful digital art from kimberkiss cosmic queen that link is always in my description box below my prices for my Etsy shop. If you guys would like to purchase this deck, it is on sale right now for $30. I only have six left. And once this deck is sold, I will not reproduce it again. So it will be off the market. Um, if there's enough requests for it, I may bring it back. But I don't plan on bringing it back anytime soon because... I have plans for another deck in the making right now, and it's going to be an affirmation deck, which affirmations recently have really changed my life, and I really wanted to share that gift with all of you bunnies. And, you know, I'm going to make it not that expensive because I want everyone to be able to have access to this type of healing, which has the potential to change lives. So, okay. Um, and really quick before I pull these cards, for those of you that know and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, you know that my best friend Chrissy recently lost her home and all of her possessions in a fire um, on Sunday, November 13th. And I have been raising money for her and her 10 year old son, whose name is Hunter. So... There is a link um, in the description box below my videos. There is also a link on my Facebook page. Um, if you follow me on my personal page, which is Nancy Marina Lopez Pickering. <laughs> That's a mouthful, I know. Good luck finding me. <laughs> and also, I have a Chakra Bunny Tarot business page. I think the link is on there too as well. So for those of you that want to donate then, you know, be blessed and go ahead and do that. And every little bit helps. I'm also offering tarot readings for those that donate um, on a sliding scale basis. So if you donate, that automatically means you will get a either recorded, and it's up to you, either a recorded or a live video like this. Well, this is recorded, but you know what I mean? A live video video. Um, tarot reading with me okay and it doesn't matter if you donate a dollar or 25 cents or you know 500 dollars, whatever you will get a choice 
um, of a live reading or recorded reading from me. So I've already started scheduling people for your for the readings that for those who have donated and those who have decided to get a reading from me. You can also donate without getting a reading from me and that's totally okay too. So if you decide to do that, when you donate, I will I will get a hold of you somehow and you know whatever I'll write you, I'll instant message you on on Facebook or if you um, contact me on Instagram, you can do it there as well. I will message you and I will ask you, you know, if you want to schedule a reading with me and I that's how I've been doing it. I've been going from there. So I've already scheduled some people in. And in fact, I'm going to do their readings tonight. And for those of you that I haven't got to yet, thank you for your patience. I This has been keeping me super busy. I'm going to be doing this for the rest of November. And then in December, I will, you know, start back with my regular clients. Okay, so I love you all so much. All right, so what do we got for air signs person? What What is the secrets of their heart that they haven't been able to tell our air signs? Two cards, please. I'm shedding everywhere. My hair is everywhere. Two cards. Oh, this is beautiful. So the first card we have is I feel your energy. So they have a very strong um, energetic tie to you. And let me tell you, um, all of my readings are timeless. So if you, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. I'm, in fact, I'm getting ready to read again for earth signs soon in a minute. Maybe tonight, it depends. Um, so I'm going to, I'm starting this cycle all over again. You guys were the last ones that I had to do. Um, if you found this reading and if you have found me, then you are definitely, definitely a twin soul because I am a twin soul reader. So I'm going to keep saying that I'm a twin soul reader. So if you found me, then you are definitely a twin soul. Do not doubt. Do not doubt it. Don't say, well, maybe I don't have a twin. Yes, you do. You do. That's why you're here. Okay. So they feel your energy and you guys have a very strong energetic tie. There is a strong energy cord that is tying your guys, your guys' auras together. Okay. Take that how it resonates. And the, the next card that we have is, I don't want your money. I just want you. So if you are wondering if your person, you know, is, is um, needing you to take care of them or anything like that. I know sometimes you divine masculines can worry. Oh, you know. I need to be financially stable so that I can take care of her and blah, blah, blah. No, she doesn't want that from you. You want to know what she wants? She wants your attention. She wants your affection. She wants your honesty. She wants you to make her a priority. And she wants your love, your unconditional love. She wants you to say, I'm going to love you no matter what. When you wake up in the morning and your hair is a mess. Or when you're going through a depressive episode and you haven't washed your hair in six days and you can barely get up to brush your teeth or wash your face, she wants you to love her then. And same with the divine masculines. They want you divine feminines to love them when, you know, they're extremely tired and they come home from work and they feel like shit. Or, you know, they're all sweaty and gross and they, maybe they forgot to put deodorant on that day when they go to work and they come home and they're like, oh God, I'm gross. And you're like, I think you are so sexy, <laughs> right? They want you to love them on the days when they have the stomach flu, right? Or on the days when they just don't feel like going to work, but they do because, you know, they feel like that's what they have to do. And so they go and they come home and they're grumpy and they're sleepy and they're like, well, oh, it's been a rough day. Leave me alone. And they want you to still be able to hold space and say, okay, cool. Let me know when, you know, you get your head out of your ass. But I still love you. <laughs> right? I mean, that's all we want is unconditional love. All of us. So, you just let him be grumpy. And then when he's feeling better, he'll come and grab your ass or something. Right? Okay. All right. So, that's your reading air signs. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I love you guys so much. Um, if you do want to book a reading with me, you absolutely can. Um, I am still taking clients along with the, the donation readings and you what I've been doing is I've been accepting clients still 
for for tarot reads but what I do is I, I take like um, a portion of what I make doing my regular readings and I'm donating that to a fund for Chrissy as well so every little bit helps you guys all right I love you beautiful air signs Mwah.